So Gianluigi Buffon has left Juventus. Very sad, I'm sure Michael Oliver is gutted. But let's take a look at the starting 11 from his first ever game for Juventus. A 4-0 win over Venezia in August 2001. Gianluigi Buffon. Gianluigi Buffon became the most expensive goalkeeper in history in 2001 and by some distance. 52 million euros, it was almost enough to make your eyes bleed. Edwin van der Sar was a tough act to follow at Juventus, so it's a good job they forked through the nose for his replacement. Basically Juventus, that's what you need to do now instead of just shoving Chesney in goal. As we all know, he's since spent 16 years there winning leagues, World Cups and telling referees that they have trash can hearts. How gutted do you think he is that the likes of Jimmy Triori have won a Champions League ahead of him? Christian Zanoni. Now you might think, who on earth was this fella? Fair question, considering he only ever played for Italy twice. He didn't quite have the same impact on the club as Buffon, considering he was chucked out on a two year loan to Sampdoria before being tossed out for good in 2005. He retired in 2012 at Monza. Lillian Toram. Now we're talking, Lillian Toram was some man. One of the best defenders of all time. Not a threat in front of goal though. He played 142 times for France and only scored twice. And both of them just happened to come during the 1998 World Cup semi-final. That man must have been struck by the footballing gods that day. He'd only been signed by Juventus in the summer of 2001. He spent five successful years there and then the club were relegated in 2006 as part of the Calcio Poli match fixing scandal. A lot of high profile players including Buffon admirably stuck it out playing on pudding pitches against terrible players for a year. Not Toram. He was signing for Barcelona about 20 minutes after the news broke. In 2008, he was supposed to sign for PSG. This was back when they were in the business of signing past to 34 year olds, as opposed to 200 million pound superstars. But he instead decided to retire after being diagnosed with a heart defect. Paolo Montero. Paolo Montero was a decent defender, capped 61 times by Uruguay. He spent nine years at Juventus before seeing out his days back in his home country with San Lorenzo and Pedrol. He's currently the manager of Rosario Central. Gianluca Pizzotto. Gianluca Pizzotto spent 11 years at Juventus, playing almost 250 games for the club after signing in 1995. And then the club were relegated and Pizzotto clearly thought, no thank you, I have better things to do with my time than competing in a league with Spezia and Hellas Verona. Here's where it gets dark though. Just a few weeks later, it was reported that he tried to kill himself after jumping from a fourth story window at the Juventus headquarters, presumably linked to the club's demotion to Serie B. Thankfully, he's since doing so much better and has since taken up coaching duties at the club. Gianluca Zambrata. Gianluca Zambrata was a top fullback and winger in his day. Signed from Barry in 1999, he was another who jumped ship in 2006. In fairness, his stock was never going to be higher than it was that summer. The man had just won the World Cup. Off he went to Barcelona with Toram, spent two years there before returning to Italy with AC Milan and then retiring in Switzerland with FC Chiasso. He's currently the assistant coach at Yang Sing Suning, that Chinese club who are mental enough to pay £30 million for an ageing Ramirez and who currently employ Gabriel Paletta. Remember him? That man probably causes a brat of daily migraines. Igor Tudor. Igor Tudor was always a bench warmer Juventus really. Having signed in 1998, the Croatian was a good backup to have in midfield. The man always seemed to be linked with the switch to the Premier League. He was supposed to sign for Bolton in 2005 on a season long loan, but then just refused to show up for talks. He retired in 2008 with a hat split and has since managed them, PAOK Salonica, Galatasaray, that was an unmitigated disaster, and now he's at Udinese. Alessio Tacconardi. Alessio Tacconardi spent 13 years at Juventus. Jesus, these lads seem to love sticking around with that club, don't they? Forget the fact he was only capped 13 times. This man won 17 trophies for the old lady and was one of the 50 Juventus players to have his name written inside the club's new ground. He went on loan to Villarreal for two years in 2005, with Fabio Capello clearly preferring Patrick Vieira. I would say with good cause, but then since the Italian brought a 32-year-old Emil Heskey to a World Cup, can't really trust his judgement anymore. Pavel Nedved. One of the best players in this list, Pavel Nedved was a sensation. The Czech midfielder had it all and ended his international career with 18 goals in 91 caps and probably still goes to bed wondering how on earth he didn't win Euro 2004 when Greece did. Nedved won the Ballon d'Or in 2003, back in the days when that trophy actually had an element of surprise, and wasn't just tossed back and forth between two players like a game of hot potato. Nedved stayed loyal to Juventus and stuck it out in Serie B before retiring in 2009 as a club legend. He's currently vice chairman of the board of directors Juventus. David Trezeguet. There's only one real thing David Trezeguet will be remembered for, and that was his golden goal against Italy in the Euro 2000 final. Was it really a smart decision to move to that country that very summer, David? He was taking a risk, considering he could have been booed to the high heavens with every touch for the next nine months. But no, he carved out a terrific career with Juventus. He spent a decade there, winning two legitimate league titles and a Serie B medal, which he probably gave to his dog. The man with 34 international goals was named was a top striker, but since 2010, his career became a who's who of random clubs on his quest for more money. Hercules, Baniaz, River Plate, Newell's Old Boys, and finally Pune City in India, where after all his medals, respect and wealth, he was dealt the indignity of captaining a side featuring a bunch of nobodies and Jermaine Pennant. Alessandro Del Piero. Saving the best for last, Alessandro Del Piero spent 19 years at Juventus, scoring 290 goals in 705 games. You're damn right he stuck it out in Serie B. He scored 23 goals to get the promoted in the first attempt. He's also won four legitimate league titles, a Champions League and a World Cup. 
what a career. And then he went to Australia to batter in a few goals for Sydney before retiring in 2014 at Delhi Dynamos.